Welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll show you how to manufacture the liquid and soap. It's a formulation that I'm going to give up. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, for the first time ever, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. How is this video going to be structured? As I said, I'm going to give you out the formulation on how to manufacture the liquid and soap. We first gonna state ingredients, okay? Then from there, I'll show you in which sequence to mix them and the related amount of each. Also, they are very important and necessary to test that I'll be explaining all along the video. So make sure that you remain tuned till the end so that you can learn this. So what are the ingredients that you need to manufacture the liquid and soap? The ingredients are, we do have water, Okay, we have slays. You need to make sure that your slays must have a strength of 25%, okay, according to this ratio. The next ingredient is MP called LX28. We also have CDE, which is our foam booster. We do have the fragrance. You can always decide on the fragrance of your choice. That's it. We do have the dye, okay, you can also decide on the dye of your choice. Glycerin, okay, then formalin and salt that's it okay these are actually the ingredients that you need to manufacture the liquid and salt please note that for you to thicken the product okay still we do have salt which is a thickening agent but still you can make use of the tego betai okay by adding it slowly while mixing until you're satisfied with the thickness of the product that you wish to obtain Okay, you also need to note that you can consider adjusting the pH to about 6,8 to 7 by making use of citric acid. Okay, this very same citric acid that helps you to adjust the pH is also a preservative on its own. Okay, but so you can notice that on the ingredients we've also stated formalin as preservative. Okay, this would definitely give a very long life shelf to the product that's it now let us consider manufacturing about 100 liters of liquid and soap okay i'm going to give you out the ratios of manufacturing 100 liters of liquid and soap here we go water need to be 55 percent of the total volume out of the 100 liters that we're manufacturing we need 55 liters of water the next ingredient is less, okay? You need to consider 16% of the total volume. Out of our 100 liters, we need 16 kg of slates. Then the next one is MP called LX28. We also need to consider 16% of the total volume, so we need to consider 16 liters. Then CDE should be 2% of the total volume, okay? CDE that stands for coconut dye ethanol amide, okay? 2% of the total volume, so we consider 2 liters of CDE. The fragrance, remember that fragrance is in between 1 to 2%, okay? On this formulation, 1% of the total volume, so it's 1 liter of fragrance. The dye, it's QS, okay? That simply means quantity sufficient. You put the dye according to the appearance that you want to give to your product. So you can decide on the amount of dye to put into your product. Then glycerin, which is our moisturizing agent, this should be 7% of the total volume, okay? Out of the 100 liters, we consider 7 liters of glycerin. That's it. Formally, 1% of the total volume, okay? Even 500 mils, would be fine. One percent of the total volume we consider about one liter of formalin, okay, out of the hundred liters of liquid and so on. As I said, even 500 ml will still fine. Why? Because mostly formalin should be about one percent of the amount of water, okay? So 500 ml to one liter of formalin out of this ratio is still meeting the proportion, okay? And it will give the product a very better life shape. That's it. Then the next and last ingredient here, it's our thickening agent, which is the salt, okay? On salt, you can decide from 1,5 to 2%, okay? On this formulation, it's 2% of the total volume. That's about 2 kg of salt, okay? By doing this, you actually obtain 100 liters, Okay, 
of liquid and snow. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As I always say that there is a lot to learn from here, guys. Trust me, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can be part of this learning journey. Why not? Make sure that you like our videos, share them, and also consider telling to people that you know with interest of learning about the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.